<laughs> okay, um, it probably doesn't come to a surprise to most of you that today I'll be talking about rock climbing. <laughs> Um, during my freshman and sophomore year, I sort of started my passion for rock climbing, and I was inspired by my older brother, uh, Noah Bergeron, who was a climber starting in eighth grade, and he sort of got me into it. And as a junior and senior year came along, my obsession sort of uh, furthered, and I started to climb all the time, and I really started to love climbing. And uh, I started to pursue that passion, and it really came out when I decided to write my college essay on it. And uh, here it is. Mastering the ascent. 45 feet off the ground, only a few feet from the top. My arms begin to seize up. My legs begin to shake as I feel my body lose its strength. That's when I know I have to somehow find the mental and physical strength needed to master the climb. I look down at the floor. No one's there. I'm all alone. I tell myself I can't fall. I have to push through. As I reach for the uh, next hold, I hear my nails scrape against the wall. My foot drags slowly upwards. I feel the divot with my foot and I transfer the weight onto the hold. A bead of sweat drip off my forehead and on, falls onto my chest. My hands begin to slip. Uh, I grip the, f the holds even harder with the last bit of strength I have left. I make one last attempt, straining to reach the final hold. I fail. I have spent countless nights, hours, and minutes climbing, after soccer, then before lacrosse, till 10 o'clock at night on weekdays, between climbing during class periods when I finish my work early to maximize my climbing time. Climbing is unique. No other activity is so physically and mentally demanding. When you climb, only you can push yourself. Only you can decide to strive for that last hold, and only you can decide to pick yourself back up again when you fail. Self-motivation is what it takes to improve. There are no teams, no standards for your age level, no play playing time, just you. You are the only one that stands in the way of your accomplishments. Climbing has taught me to never give up. Climbing has taught me to always bounce back from failure. As Ralph Emerson once said, our greatest glory is not in never failing, but rising up every time we fail. As a dyslexic student, reading and writing has always been a challenge for me. Today, I strive to overcome dyslexia. My experiences climbing have helped me to inform my learning. <laughs> Countless times a teacher ha uh, has assigned homework saying it should only take 20 minutes, but countless times I spend three times that long trying to understand and match the material. In the past, this made me doubt my capabilities. Today, I see this working to overcome dyslexia as a challenge, one that I must overcome. From the, the skills I have acquired through climbing, I have learned to manage my time and to finish my schoolwork regardless of my dyslexia. I work hard to be the best I can. I never give up. Climbing has helped me grapple with my learning disability and has taught me to push through to achieve what seems unachievable. Giving up has never been an option for me. At an early age, I realized that perseverance and a strong worth ethic are essential to any endeavor. When I climb, I accept failure. I push my abilities and I let nothing limit what I can achieve. Failing is only the beginning of a challenge that I will soon conquer. So I reach back into my chalk bag and look up at the looming wall and take one deep breath and attempt yet another ascent. I succeed.